Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a get ready with me and I have pretty much done the whole base part of my makeup because I don't want this video to be long. You guys know the drill with these get ready with me's. I list all the products down below as well as on my Instagram. So do what you need to do. I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna talk about, but we'll see where the conversation leads to. The first topic, on today's video will be drama why have we made drama and specifically okay there's like dramas that need to be addressed because it affects a number of people i'm talking about drama between two separate influencers or people on youtube social media and it becoming this global breaking news and everybody's talking about it kind of thing like i I don't get it. You know, it left me to think that it's almost as if we've taken gossip and siding and bullying just on a, a, a more global scale. We still have issues trying to figure this out in schools, like just, just trying to contain it. And since it's happening on the internet and there's a little bit of a shield in front of you, I feel like some people find it all empowering to say whatever they want. And so words tend to be a lot harsher, trolling 10 times more than what you would get in real life. I, I just don't see how people get a kick out of that or being proud like of being a troll. It's almost as if people are trying to be professional trolls, which is quite frankly a joke in itself, but uh, First off, I don't get why people would want to air their dirty laundry with someone else on the internet. Why aren't people keeping personal issues personal? Are they trying to get some sort of validation from others I, or sympathy or I don't I don't know. I don't understand the mentality behind it. Why? Why are you making your business with someone else? everyone else's business and on the opposite side of the spectrum why are people making it important and then people taking sides on the issue when it has nothing to do with them it's majority like 90 95 percent stands that are doing these things but it's like you're defending you're defending someone else when in reality you really honestly don't know the person you're defending because it's i would think that it'd be different from defending your your friend you're defending someone on the internet that you are subscribed to if it if it's between two people and whatever the issue is just involves them why why are we making it like so much more of value than say i don't know climate change and you can see the proof of this with you know drama channel views they rack up views when you know so and so are are fighting on the internet people truly find this type of stuff entertaining but it's like why like if you have issue with someone there is private direct messaging that you could do if if the internet is your way to do it but i think as just part of humanity and how we interact with each other doing it on a more personal level would be much better like calling them on the phone setting up a meeting doing it via video chat that's so much more personal and direct than kind of you know sending shady tweets or making a video that truly is directed towards everybody on the internet as opposed to just you. I don't follow drama. I don't watch drama channels, but there has been some drama that I've been aware of and I'm like, really? Did this, did this really need to be everyone else's business? And do people feel com that compelled to, to partake? Why are we doing this? Next up, I don't know if I'm in the mi the minority. Maybe it's because what I'm seeing a lot of is people that have the opposite opinion to me, but we're gonna talk about the Instagram likes situation. There has been some sort of revolt. <laughs> 
against you know Instagram likes I would like to say that it's that my views definitely come from someone who doesn't use Instagram as a form of income I don't make money off of Instagram I do make money off of YouTube but it's not enough to consider it like a real income so I'm coming from it as someone who really just posts for the fun of it because I want to kind of mentality and doing so without really any expectations so when it comes to the you know whether or not we should take away instagram likes it's not that i want them to take it away it's just i don't care if they do i'm not gonna like be upset about it you know what i mean and if i'm looking at it from a business perspective if if people are using instagram to make money that's their income that's how they make their living then i understand the frustration and the possible fear of what that might mean for them i get it i get that hundred percent because those numbers they really do mean a little more than it would for you know other people who don't have it as a job it's not like youtube you have view count and then you have likes the likes almost is the same thing as views and that's why i'm not here saying like take away the likes because i understand what it means for some people but for me if it if it goes away for me like i don't care but it also leads me to wonder if people don't make money off of instagram and they're they're just posting for post sake and they they have issue with taking away likes. I'm not saying that this is the case, but it leaves me to wonder if the likes gives them validation because there's there's no monetary goal for them. You know, they're not making money off of it. So what does the likes mean for them? And if it is, I don't know if I would necessarily say that's healthy. And I think that is the argument that people are making that it's it's become this form of validation for some people and them using that as as a way to de determine their worth. I don't mean this, you know, for any disrespect. I I truly mean this as like it's concerning it's concerning if that's what the likes mean for people and with likes i'm guilty of this i'm the first one to raise my hand likes has likes thumbs up all of those things emoji has simplified our communication and i feel like we've used it to a point where it negatively impacts the way we interact with each other again i partake in this to have someone write you a note or send you a text message and you can just put a, a wink emoji or double tap a picture so that they know that you saw what they uploaded that is our form of communication like a single tap a double tap an emoji and like pressing it three times anyone else feel that way so if they take away likes so be it Oh my goodness, I totally like flicked off my, um, whatchamacallit, fallout. Just doing that. You know, Ariel did that. I want to be where the people are. I want to see. Wanna see. I'm dancing. God made sure that I didn't have a beautiful angelic voice because he knows I talk so much already that he's probably like, yeah we should like try to contain her voice because it's, it's too much sometimes i feel like this halo eye can go 57 different ways and right now i'm feeling a little scared there are certain colors when i look at them i know like okay okay but the technique of like cut crease and halo eye i never know how it's gonna go down honestly like just looking at him like what the hell ah screw it screw it you guys want to talk about uh collaborations with influencers and makeup companies i know it's no secret that we see collaborations with the same beauty influencers it's not like these companies are going like i'm gonna take a chance i'm gonna take a chance on these influencers no these guys have huge followings right the end goal the end goal for any company 
is money. Why does it always get patchy right here? What the hell is up with that piece of skin? But I feel like we've come to a point where it's like it's already over done. I would much rather just have a collection with a theme and not theme like movie theme. I mean just whether it's color based, whether it's inspiration from nature and using those colors, that's what I mean, that kind of thing. It would be great to see, you know, other influencers that we don't normally see take a take a go at it. But for me, even then, I'm just kind of tired with collaborations. That's probably an unpopular opinion. I would just like to see products, you know, I don't I don't need to see someone's name attached to it. Make good makeup. You don't need to cash grab by putting so-and-so's name on it. I have not used this pigment in the longest time. How pretty it is. Do you guys have a preferred eyeball? This one I prefer. This eye is a pain in the butt. What else can I talk about to, to fill in the time? This is the thing. It's hard for me just to talk. I'm usually this, this way in person anyways the conversation doesn't naturally happen for me because i'm so i'm pretty shy i wouldn't say that i have heavy social anxiety i i'm pretty sure i do have it to an extent you know some people are just great at conversation that is not me which is why i prefer not to do things without people that are great at conversation because <laughs> i can just sit there and be quiet and let them take over <laughs> what are you guys making of this uh astro scandal this is what i think and this is coming from a fan of the astros but still like if you've done wrong then write it if they find it to be true and all evidence leads to yes they did do sign stealing electronically whatever the consequences may be whether it's taking back the title whether it's you know taking away some draft picks, whether it's paying a fine, whether it's suspending some people. Can we just like do it? Just just do it. Spring training's coming up, guys. Let's get all of this squared away. Do what needs to be done. We got baseball to watch, guys. Get it done. Let the facts out. This is what happened. We caught them doing this and the, they're gonna have to do all of these things. These are the people that are suspended. We are, we aren't gonna take away the title, revoke the title, put an asterisk next to it, whatever it may be. Just, just get it done. I'm waiting for some baseball. Just do it. And then we can get back to some baseball. Cause I would think that's what people want, right? They just, they want the people that are guilty of such crimes. Is it a crime? I don't know. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm sure people just want these things to be put out there and saying, hey, this is what's going on. And if they're guilty, then they're guilty. But I'm more interested in finding out where the heck Garrett Cole is going to go because he ain't coming back to the Astros. Damn it. But whoever is going to pay for Garrett Cole, God bless your wallet. I hear um, the Astros are looking into Zach Wheeler from the Mets. Yes, sign him up. How do you pronounce his name? Strauss, Strauss, the pitcher from the Nationals. You know, the one that kicked our butts. Wouldn't it be awesome if he turned into an Astro? I know there's a potential of losing some money over the scandal, but if we're about moving on from it, then we should move on by getting another picture. And maybe, maybe we can all put some MLB officials in the dugouts to be checking for these sign stealing issues that are done electronically because sign stealing is a part of baseball. Just put some of your officials in the dugout, you know? If you feel inclined, you put three in the Astros dugout. Astros fans are probably like yelling at me. I'm an Astros fan, guys. I just, I, I do want fair baseball. And if that is what is considered fair, then so be it. I'm not the professional baseball player. I just want to watch me some baseball. Guys, check out my bunny ears. Is it a bunny or is it a cat? Guys, right after this video, I'm going to be filming something on Instagram posts. And I'm interested 
to see where it goes. Uh, might ruffle some feathers, but I'm pretty sure I'm just seeing what people are thinking. Not everybody's thinking about it, but I sure as heck know I'm not the only one that looks at some Instagram posts and be like, what's this? I'm pretty sure I'm that for some people. My brothers and I have such a unique humor and language when we're together that sometimes when I do that amongst or around people like my friends and they look at me like what I'm like Ugh. you just you don't get it you're, you're not my siblings I swear I'm almost done I'm almost done I need to film that other video so I'm getting hungry guys it's almost lunch time and you cannot make me choose between makeup and food because makeup would be disappointed all the time okay guys that concludes today's get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed the video now that i'm done filming it i will say this is going to be a long video this is going to be long annabelle just learned to shut up sometimes but if you did enjoy today's video, I hope you decide to click on the red subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. You don't have to if you don't want to though. Just, whatever. Remember, full list of products down below if you would like to be updated with future makeup looks or interested in previous ones. Check out my Instagram. That's where I post a photo of all of my makeup looks and list a full list of products in the caption. If you guys don't know, the reason I started doing that was because I would get questions from previous makeup looks and people would be like, so what did you have on in this video? Like, what was that lip? And I'd be like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. That was not the proper time to pause, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Uh, so we're not done. <laughs> I realized I didn't do my lips. Just pretend like you didn't hear the outro, and then when I'm done putting on my lips, then you can just replay it in your head. Oh, yeah, so pretty. Ooh, ooh. Oops. Bit fur. Take this time to replay the intro in your head. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm taking it off for you guys. Oh, yeah. That's what you like. Pew. It's time to film some stuff about Instagram. You, man, I'm gonna get in trouble.